last few years, I've been growing my knowledge of becoming a commercial cinematographer. And in that time, I picked up a few things that may help you on your next shoot. Coming up in filmmaking, you're going to direct, shoot, produce, edit. You're gonna do everything yourself. And that can be a great thing at first to get your knowledge of like how every department works. But when you step into these bigger sets, when you have your set role, it can kind of affect you. I remember stepping onto my first set as a DP and I was setting up the first shot. There was like a plant in the corner that I wanted to move a little bit. I walked over there and I moved it. And then I was like, oh, this light isn't exactly right. And I was about to go over there and move it. And the first day he came over to me and was like, hey, stop. You're the DP. You can ask other people to do that for you. And going into that shoot, I knew that, but it was so ingrained into me that I you know, had to do everything myself. Going into this role of a director of photography, there's the word director in there. You are a director of the whole lighting department and the what the image ends up looking like, but you're not required to do that yourself. You have help. And so a one thing that I've learned being a commercial cinematographer is just learning how to delegate and talk with your crew so that you can get your job done in the most effective way. This next one, I didn't ever really think about until a commercial I shot a few months ago, and it has to do with the clapperboard. Although doing the clapperboard isn't necessarily my job as a DP, when your second AC or whoever's you know doing the the clapperboard thing comes in, uh, I would I would always just like start speeding the camera and then the clapperboard come in you know whatever say your stuff mark and then and get out. But one thing that I was told by my first AC, which is also a great DP, um, shout out Josh Aram, is bringing in the clapperboard before you hit record because in post when the editor has all the footage they can see you know what scene it is what take it is um as the first shot so they don't have to scroll through you know a bunch of footage just to see what the what the board says so bring in the copper board get it in frame get it all focused then hit record so that it'll help your editor in post this next one Almost everyone I know talks about it, but pre-production is so important and just getting that down early on in your career because it's going to help you out on every shoot. In this last year, I've gone into way too many productions with little knowledge of what we're shooting, where we're shooting, and how we're going to shoot it. And I'm not saying you have to get every little tiny detail down for every single shoot, but it does help having a storyboard, a shot list, just at least some idea of what you're shooting. This also gives the director more time to figure out blocking and talk to talent, and also gives you, you as the cinematographer, more time to figure out exact lighting, you know, camera placement, things like that. Another great thing about doing pre-production that gives you more time on set is it gives you a space to be experimental. What do I mean by experimental? Well, you know, you have your shot list, you know exactly what you're gonna get and what the client signed off on. But sometimes in the in the like on set, you're seeing like a shot and you're like, wait a second, like this would be cool. What if we put the light there? Or what if we, you know, change it up? Maybe this shot is um, instead of being static, it's on, you know, a dolly or something. So giving you a little extra time from pre-production on set allows you to be more a little more creative, more experimental, and can end up adding a lot to the shoot. Another great discipline being a director or a cinematographer is being open to other people's ideas. I know that you know you have the vision of how you want the final image to look like or you know you have the story, but being open to other people's ideas can open a whole avenue of what the final product looks like. Another great thing about this is it allows other crew members to maybe breathe a little bit of their creative ideas into the project. But let's say the idea isn't best suited for that, you know, that shot. Just letting him down easy like, you know what, this this would be it's a great idea, but maybe not for this shot. We'll use it on another one. And kind of letting him down easy so that they feel comfortable coming back again with more cool ideas um, and just getting them more comfortable on set and and getting allowing them to share their ideas, can't even talk. The last tip I have for you is when going into a project, take a step back and look at the project as a whole. You know, is this a passion project or just, you know, a project to pay the bills? If it's a passion project, maybe taking a little of the cut of your money and putting it back into the project. If that's renting gear that you couldn't afford, getting another uh, crew member just to help out with the whole project to make it come, come together a little bit better. An example of this, a few months ago I shot a mountain biking commercial and in pre-production I built a cable cam and doing that extra little bit of work and that extra little bit of money, it was only 100 bucks, but putting that extra time in to do that ended up making the final product turn out a whole lot better and it was we got some really sick shots from it. A big theme with all these tips I have, maybe besides the clapperboard one, is you know it's spending the time, if it's pre-production, during production, or just listening to other people's ideas, it all equates to making the final image and the final story turn out way better. That wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed it and got something out of it. If you have any questions, comment below. We'd love to talk to you down there. Stay tuned for more videos to come on gear, production, behind the scenes, all the jazz. I think that's it. Peace.